Glorious greetings, my friends. It is I, the Elven Wizard from Inner Realms Journey, also known as Aaron Pine, founder and creator of Inner Realms Journey. Thank you so much for checking out these videos. In this one, we're going to talk about your Inner Realm Sanctuary. Now, hopefully you've already done the fourth meditation where you've created that and uh, you're probably getting used to stopping in there and uh, between your journeys. And hopefully you've done some of the Inner Realm Sanctuary uh, meditations where they it just takes you there and you get time to just be there and explore and develop. So I'm going to talk more about this concept and how you might want to use it in your life. Now, the Inner Realm Sanctuary, of course, is the home world, the home realm of your avatar. It is your magical slice of paradise across the great realms. It is completely unique to you. And it will, like your avatar, likely maybe develop over time in some way. Mine has continued to grow and expand, and there's more, I'll say, nooks and crannies within it. Uh, a bit of mine is, is, a, is a magical five tower, um, elven wizard tower, five towers surrounded by trees. The towers are sort of built into massive trees. Uh, there's a whole forest with all kinds of different little magical places and gathering spaces and place for guests to come. Uh, within the tower, there's lab libraries, laboratories, uh, wizardly laboratories, <laughs> guest uh, room for guests, um, great halls, uh, and all kinds of other fun stuff in there. And then there's a whole uh, range of mountains that sort of surrounds behind this forest. And there's dragons up there and all kinds of other fun stuff. Uh, mine, like many others who've been doing this for a while, continues to grow. Like I said, I've got pages and pages of notes and images and sketches and, you know, different things I've, I've developed in my own meditation or different things I've seen in my journey through this world, you know, artworks or talking to other people and getting ideas, right? I continue to build it. Um, excuse me if there's some sounds, I'm recording this up in the mountains and it's a very windy day today. <laughs> um, so your sanctuary likely will grow and develop. So I invite you to and encourage you to continue to journal it or create some sort of log. You can get one of our journals or do your own to continue to uh, develop this and have a place you can go back to. Um, I've gone back to notes of mine from a year ago or two years ago. Like, oh yeah, I forgot this was in there. Oh yeah, that's super cool. Or, oh, that kind of connects with this new thing. And you know, there's all kinds of cool stuff that happens and it helps you develop this sanctuary, this magical space for yourself. And it's so important because for many of us, you know, we may be living, some of us are blessed and maybe we, we've got a, a situation we really love. Some of us maybe aren't in the most, uh, you know, home or we don't feel like we maybe have a full sanctuary here in this world. Uh, for me, I've traveled a lot. I've lived in many different places over my life. So I feel like, uh, especially if I especially as I have this inner sanctuary, it's like that home is always with me. That home place, that inner realm is always with me no matter where I'm at, no matter what's going on in this world. Um, I know that's always there for me. And so that's very reassuring. It sort of creates this inner security, this inner safety, uh, and this inner knowing that that's always there for me. And it's very healing for me in my meditations. Uh, it's very healing uh, if I'm, um, I'm feeling challenged with what's going on in the world around me. Uh, it's very nourishing going to bed and, and at night I go there to my inner sanctuary. Um, or if during the day I'm having a, a rough day, for example, I can take a moment, take a meditation break and go to my inner sanctuary, sort of recharge there, be nourished and be have fun <laughs> and take care of myself and then come back to this world. So it's a very powerful um, concept to have. It's inspired, of course, again, by mythology, like I talked about in the Avatar uh, video that many mythical beings, many gods and goddesses often had their own sort of sanctuary, their own place that was their home. Uh, for one example, one of my favorites is Odin, who was sort of this king, warrior, wizard, god of the Norse, of Northern European um, mythology. And he had uh, Valhalla, and he had this his magical realm and he had this great uh, hall this sort of uh, not quite a castle but sort of like a castle this great hall that was his and that's where that was sort of his domain and you know where he feasted and celebrated 
and many things happened. Now, of course, he went to other realms. He journeyed off and went on with all sorts of adventures. But that was always there for him to return to. And, of course, other gods and goddesses lived there with him as well. So having this place is like your Valhalla, your, your paradise, your place to go to uh, within yourself. As you develop it, I do encourage you to have spaces for visitors, for your allies, which we'll talk about in another video. Um, and this can be super fun to do, too, with if you're doing Inner Realms Journey with others, with friends, with a partner, with your family, is you can even invite your, them to come to your sanctuary, describe it to them, take them on a journey there. What does it look like? What does it feel like? What are they going to notice? And it really helps you guys connect in a deeper way. And what's really fun is they may see things there that you didn't notice or things that you might like to have there. They might say, oh, like, for example, I took um, one person through my sanctuary and she saw several components there. And I was like, oh, that's super cool. Yeah, let's add that in there, right? <laughs> so it's like becomes a collaborative and it becomes supportive. And then they, they begin to understand you and who you are and you begin to understand them and who they are in a deeper way when you collaborate and build these together. Um, so it's, it's, very, it's very representative of more of who you are, what you are and your qualities and your essence. And it's this powerful place to go to and be yourself and, and receive that nourishment, that sort of safety, that feeling of home, you know. We all have that need to have that place and some of us have it, some of us don't. And so this gives you that, that deeper sense of it within yourself. So continue to play, continue to bring it to life. And one other thing I wanna talk about quickly here is to bring it to life as much as you can. Like I said earlier, the drawings, the writing, the description. But also, if there's any aspects of your sanctuary that you can bring into your human life, into your day-to-day -day life, into your home, I encourage you to do so. It could be very small. It could be an artwork up on the wall. It could be, you know, maybe say your, your um, sanctuary has lots of quartz, crystal. Bring that into your real life. Um, if you happen to be looking for a new home, can you find a home that sort of aligns or has some similarities with your inner sanctuary? If your inner sanctuary has, say, a bunch of pine trees like mine, <laughs> can you maybe plant some pine trees in your yard? Can you bring that to life somehow? So continue to, as you explore your sanctuary and build that, continue to see is there aspects of that you can bring to life and it'll help you feel that inner sanctuary within you, around you all the time. And that is a very empowering way to be. All right, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and got some more insights about your inner realm sanctuary. May the magic of all the realms, including your inner sanctuary, flow through you.